Hello VR shoppers and welcome to the VR Shops review of the Spec Pocket VR. For detailed information like weight, lens size, FOV and buying links, please do visit the website link in the description below. But for a quick hands-on review and unboxing, just keep watching. Let's get on with it. This is a <laughs> this has been a tough uh, headset to get hold of. It, they really just have not made it easy. We've eventually got one on import <laughs> yep, from eBay, and uh, and yeah, it's it's been out for quite a while, and uh, it's only just started to see uh, people putting them on eBay and things like that because it was mostly uh, the Kickstarter people that were uh, that were getting them. So obviously, some people have already put them on. So I'll give you a quick look at it. It's uh. It's pretty much like consumer perfection. It's, you know, everything about it is perfect for just hanging up. You just literally, you know, can hang that on a shelf with your little pole thing. And uh, and it's good to go. There's uh, This one's for the Galaxy S7, but there's many, many other models that you can get, including the iPhone one. And yeah, it's, it has been out for a while and it does work with Google Cardboard. It's all official. So we're going to take a look. It's actually really nice, really nice presented. Fair play. Let's get into it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so that doesn't, it doesn't actually come out. You just, there, yeah, love it. So that doesn't come out. And that doesn't come out. Does anything come out? There we go, nice, look at that. That's the uh, the Pocket VR case candy shell grip. Ooh, nice. Very nice indeed. But this, oof, this is why we're here. This is the, uh, the spec, oh, look at that. Little uh, instruction thing and uh, warnings and obviously a Google car, a Google Q, oh, spit it out. A Google Cardboard QR code. Whew. I'm not going to, um, i show you the case. That's really nice. Fair play, that's pretty awesome. I love that. That's beautiful. But there you go. I'm not going to, um, inspect that because, you know, that's a phone case. It's not, maybe it'll, uh, go with a phone, but we'll have a look at that. So this is a spec VR and hopefully we're going to pull it outwards at the ends and it should just come out. So yeah, look at that. Look at that. Nice. That, that, that was too smooth. It's got to be done again. Right, here we go. Oh, that's nice. Now that is something spectacular. There you go. It's pretty basic. There's no... <laughs> There's no head strap, there's no nose padding, there's no, uh, there's no anything really, <laughs> no pupil adjustment, no distance adjustment, but um, it does fold, as you can see, pretty flat, and the mechanism and design of it is pretty flawless, absolutely beautiful. Fair play to them, they've really um, gone the extra effort, you can tell how many, you know, how many portable VR headsets have we had in here? You could tell that this this is of a different quality, you know. It really does feel something quite special, you know. It's no bits, no. It's well designed. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a pretty good one. Well, there's, no, <laughs> there's nothing to talk about in features, I'm afraid. We're going to have to, uh, oh, you can... Uh, put in your phone in there you can get uh your leads coming out the side there which is nice oh there you go there's a little feature for you <laughs> anyway we're gonna uh take it away we're gonna actually try it there's no point trying it out on made and sheen this eyeball but we will show you the camera view and uh then get back to you with exactly how good it really is Here we are with the inside view of the uh, Spec VR. 
Um, it's a really big FOP because your eyeballs are right up against the lens. It's around about 110. It's, you know, full view. It looks great. It looks clear because of where your eyeballs are. Obviously, you can see that there's a lot of light coming in. You know, you don't need me to tell you that there's a lot of light because it's got open sides and open top and open bottom and open front. So, you know, <laughs> there's always going to be a lot of light in. But, you know for mobile VR on the go it's pretty good all right there love she's still going in she bless her okay welcome back um we've done our tests and showed you the inside view uh it's all right you know it's <laughs> pocket um VR headsets are just one of them things that they just work it has to be said I really, <laughs> we put the phone case on. I think the phone case, the candy shell phone case, is better than the actual headset. I mean, that is spectacular. I absolutely love it. So, you basically put it on, you put your app in, whatever app you're going to load up, and then you literally, uh, you can just slot it in at the sides. And there you go. And that's kind of how it goes on. But that's not to say that you have to have that... Uh, Pacific, Pacific, Pacific. I always get our word confused. Pacific. You have to have that exact headset because you know what's this? Uh, Samsung Galaxy S5 Mini works perfectly with it. Look at that slots in and everything. Even uh, particularly apples. You know they go in there. Look at that. Nice. You know you can view it with an apple, and it will go all the way up to. I don't think it's going to go much bigger than like a Samsung Edge, you know, full six inch. Yeah, see that even the six inch Samsung, that's pushing it a little bit. LG G3. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's all right. That's all right. I'd go with that one. Or maybe a bit smaller, you know, I think like the Galaxy X5 Mini is, is perfect. Look at that. It's pretty spectacular. You know, what can, what can you say? It works. The QR code's fine. It's, it works. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know what to say. It's, um, the problem is, here's my problem. When this was on Kickstarter and that, it was revolutionary, absolutely revolutionary. It was, you know, absolutely amazing you know i don't know what to say it was brilliant and a lot of people invested in it and that's why it got the funding move forward a couple of years that it's taken to develop it and get it into production and get it out to people suddenly this has become obsolete by like the vr fold and things that are things that have adjustable pupil distance adjustable focus distance this has style above all of them. It's, you know, it's spectacular. But it doesn't have the features, you know. At the end of the day, this doesn't attach to your phone or anything like that. Like many of the other, like the Figment VR. It's just, you know, you could just put it in your pocket or something as it is. There's no... <laughs> There's no alter alternative use for it. It's just there. And many of the others do offer something alternative, like a phone case where it's all built in and things like that. It's and at $50, $50, you know, <laughs> there's just no justification <laughs> for that price, you know? Sure, the quality. <sighs> My opinion is, if you got a compatible phone and there are quite a few phone models, so do look around if you're interested. If you've got a compatible phone and you want a portable mobile VR headset and you don't mind splashing out a ridiculous amount of cash for the extra quality, because that's what you get with this, then this is perfect. This is this is the one for you, you know, the, particularly the candy shell case. I know, I just talk about it, I just love it. 
you know, it's an all-in-one beautiful package that comes out. It's presentable. It's lovable. You know, this is like the perfect gift to give to someone, provided they got a compatible phone. But if you want a practical mobile VR headset, a portable pocket-friendly one, don't get this one. There's so, so much better out there for a damn sight less. Sadly, I don't, I don't know what else to say about it. it. I'm torn. I really am. I, I, I think the quality on it is exceptional and the presentation is exceptional as well. I, I love it. I have utter respect for the work they've done on it, but I don't respect it as a viewer. There you go. I think that pretty much covers it. <laughs> you know the drill. Do remember, please, to sign up to our weekly newsletter where we're going to give away headsets. We're not going to be giving away this one. Well, we're going to be giving away headsets each and every week. And the link to do that is also in the details box below. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to see more of these unboxing videos, please do subscribe.